Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a link to a button the proper way. Normally, we use anchor tag to create a button or place our button inside an anchor tag to add link. But in this video, I'm going to show you the proper way to linking a HTML button. So here you can see I have already created a button using some cool animation effect. And here you can see go to the GitHub. If I click this HTML button, then I'll be redirected to GitHub. Here you can see after clicking the button I have arrived here. If I go back and here you can see the button. So without further ado, let's start the video. So first I'm going to show you the files that I have used to create this button. So here's the files. And now we need to open these files inside a code editor. I have already opened it in my Visual Studio code editor. And here you can see the files index.html and style.css. I'm going to hide this and this one also. And here you can see the index.html file. I have already added some codes in here. So we can start right away. I have already linked the style.css files in here. And here's the fav icon link. And now I'm going to go to the style.css file and select the body tag and add some background color to it. After that, we need to go to the index.html file and inside the body tag, we need to add a button. And inside the button, we need to add some text. I have written the same text as here. And after that, we need to save the file and press the go live button. So here you can see our button and here's the color that I have added to the body tag. Now let's start designing the button. So here it is. Now I'm going to take the global HTML tag selector, the star tag, and I'm going to remove all the added spacings and styles from our HTML tags, box sizing, border box, and padding zero and we're going to add margin zero after that we are going to save and here you can see all the pre-edit styles are removed now we need to add height to the body 100 viewport height and press save and now i'm going to place this button to the center of this page for that i'm going to add display grid and place items center press save and here you can see the button is aligned to the center vertically and horizontally as well and now we are going to select the button tag and add the styles to it We are going to add some padding to it, 40 pixel to the top and bottom and 70 pixel to the left and right. And now we need to add a font family to the button, font size 35 pixel and font weight going to be 600. It's slightly bold, not that big or not that small, slightly bigger. Now I'm going to add a background color to the button. Now add the color. Press save. Now we need to add a border. Two pixels solid. After that, I'm going to add a border radius to the button. Border radius going to be 100 pixel. Here you can see the border radius is added. And here after hovering over the button, you can see cursor point is not changing. For that, I'm going to add cursor pointer. And here you can see my cursor is changing to a pointer. Now I'm going to add transition. To the button 0.3 seconds and now i'm going to show you the proper way to add a link to the button and after that i'm going to add some hover animation effect to this button 
Now going to index.html. Inside the button tag, we need to add on click. And inside the on click, we need to add location.href. And here I need to place the link that I want to visit by clicking this button. Here's the link github.com and press save. Now click the button and here you can see I'm at the GitHub page. Again, go back and now I'm going to add the hover animation effect to this button. So for that, I need to copy this one button and add is to add effects to multiple state. So hover the first one. After that, active and remove all of this text. Now border radius should be here. Copy this one, place it here and 40 pixel, again 5 pixel and again 40 pixel save and now the background color copy this one this color and add some opacity to this color i'm going to add 0.90 save now i'm going to add box shadow And now I'm going to add a transform effect. Translate minus five pixel vertically and minus five pixel horizontally. Save. See, our button is ready. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this one. And please share this video and leave a comment. Thank you for watching. Have good times.